Hey everyone, I'm Dina from simplyhomecook.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the most irresistibly soft and buttery brioche bread. Now what makes brioche so special is that it has a lot of eggs and a lot of butter. Those two factors make it so rich and fluffy and just it just melts in your mouth. It is simply irresistible. Now let me show you how to make it. In a large measuring cup, add one and a quarter cups of warm milk, so about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Then add a quarter cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of dry active yeast. Then you want to give this mixture a good whisk and leave it in a warm place for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it becomes nice and frothy. After 10 to 20 minutes, if your yeast does not froth up like this, it is probably bad and you need to throw it out and buy yourself some fresh yeast. In a separate bowl, roughly whisk up six large eggs, really just to loosen them and set them aside. Now, in a stand mixer, you want to add seven and a quarter cups of bread flour and three quarter cups of granulated sugar, along with half a teaspoon of salt. Then go ahead and add your frothy yeast mixture right into the stand mixer. And you want to make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl or the measuring cup you're using. Get every bit of that residual yeast out of there. You're going to need every bit of that in here. Then add in the beaten eggs along with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now using the hook attachment, turn the mixer on low speed and let it mix until you don't see any more patches of flour appear. Then you want to pick it up to high speed and let the dough come together. Once the dough has started to take shape, go ahead and add one cup of sliced, softened, unsalted butter. And then continue kneading the dough on high speed for about 10 minutes or until the dough is smooth and elastic. And if the dough doesn't come together well enough, after 15 minutes of beating, add an additional quarter cup of bread flour. A great way to tell if your dough is done mixing is by lightly pressing the dough with your finger. It will be tacky, but it should not completely stick to your finger. All right, now that the dough is all done mixing, go ahead and remove the hook attachment. And you want to scrape down any bit of dough that was stuck onto it. And then pull your dough out of the mixer. And you want to roughly knead it into a ball and place it into a large grease bowl. And I just grease mine with some olive oil. Then you want to cover it with a cheesecloth or some plastic wrap and leave it in a warm place for about one hour or until it doubles in size. And I just place mine into the oven on the proof setting. Oh, look how perfectly the brioche dough has puffed up. This is exactly what you're looking for. This is gonna give you that fluffy, delicious brioche bread. I mean, is it just me or is it just so cute looking? You just wanna pinch it. <laughs> well, actually, you get to do more than that. You get to punch it down right now. Once you punch it down, you wanna place it on a lightly floured surface and then divide the dough into two equal parts. These two pieces of dough are gonna get you two loaves of brioche bread. Now take the first half of your dough and divide it into three equal pieces. Then take one of those three pieces and then roll it into a log shape. And you want to continue doing this with the remaining two pieces of dough. Then place the three strands of dough next to each other and begin crossing them over in a braid-like fashion. Once you get to the end, you can go ahead and pinch the dough to seal the braid and repeat these steps with the other half of that dough. Then place both braided brioche loaves into two buttered loaf pans, cover the dough with a cheesecloth or plastic wrap, and let it rise once more for about 30 minutes to an hour. In the meantime, roughly whisk one large egg with one teaspoon of water, So once the brioche dough is done rising, you want to generously brush that egg wash right over both bread loaves. Now preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake your bread for 35 to 40 minutes or until golden brown. And there you have it guys, now you know how to make the most incredible brioche bread right at home. It's really not that complicated, it just takes a little bit of patience, but it is well worth the wait. The results are simply phenomenal. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, 
and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.